H-Bar bounced off a crucial support level and if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. We have been killing it in our Telegram channel almost 200% in the past two weeks and we are about to push 400 members. Make sure to check out the link. Hey guys, Pinky Church here. Welcome back to another H-Bar analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in $35,000 trading bonus, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Now, as you guys can see on H-Bar, we have tested a very crucial support level here at 0.06 and saw a very nice breakout formation. Now, there are a few things I want to point now, number one, of course, the main factor on the four hour time frame is you'll notice that we do have an M formation being formed. This is a very bearish case scenario for the four hour time frame. And of course, if we do end up breaking 0.064, this M formation is likely to play. Now, for those of you that were a part of the Telegram channel, you guys saw that we took a beautiful 35% buy opportunity on this breakout formation and immediately after saw that retest of this previous high. I mentioned to you guys multiple times in order for H bar to continue has seen a massive rally the main area of resistance remains at 0.067 of course you can see the fact that this is now the third test opportunity and usually on the third test we tend to see a massive breakout formation but of course we are trading off weekend volume which is a massive lack of liquidity not only that but you will notice that of course we are still trading above our exponential moving averages and using them as support as of right now so it's a little too early to say whether or not we will be looking for that breakout breakdown formation. If assuming we do break below the EMA line, this M formation is a lot likely more to play. So keep a very close eye on that time frame. Now, of course, if you look here, even on the hourly time frame, you'll see the fact that we are consolidating in between these exponential moving averages. But looking at the hourly candle specifically, you'll see that we had a very clean double top formation. We had a beautiful retest of the previous high at 0.066 and immediately after saw multiple bearish engulfing candles. So it's going to be very crucial from the bullish case scenario in order to try to overcome that level right now you can see the rsi is in a neutral territory so we do have some room for movements but of course even on the hourly time frame we have to be very careful because right now you'll notice that we did end up breaking below our exponential moving averages and are now looking to retest them as resistance it's going to be very crucial from the bullish case scenario to try to break above this level of course see that massive fake out opportunity the only problem is not only do we have the m formation on the hour but as you guys already know we have the same sort of formation being formed on the four hour time frame as well now if we look here on the daily time frame you'll notice something very interesting we have now retested the 20 exponential moving average five times this is of course something very interesting because of the fact the more times a resistance level is tested the higher chances of it actually breaking and the fact that you can see that the bulls did end up holding 0.064 is of course a very nice indicator that we are looking for this is going to be the crucial point for h bar to try to break up above because looking at previous price analysis you'll notice the fact that we have been breaking below our exponential moving averages and as soon as we did that we saw a massive breakdown formation since then we haven't actually seen h bar try to break above the ema lines but the fact that we are consolidating right now if we're assuming we do get a break above these exponential moving averages the next take profit level would remain at 0.073 the reason why of course is as you guys can see when we ended up breaking below this level we never really saw that retest opportunity as resistance and the confirmation instead we just saw a massive slow bleed opportunity and right now this would be the area of opportunity from the bullish case scenario to grab that liquidity and then possibly a stronger continuation now overall on h bar i am looking for this bearish case scenario to play out still because even with this current move set we still have to keep in mind that we ended up rejecting off a very crucial point the deciding factor in order for us to switch bullish would of course would remain at 0.073 if somehow we broke above that level and used it as support for that continuation otherwise this pullback opportunity could just be another liquidity grab before continuing pushing on much further but that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in free 600 bitcoin make sure to check out the link in the bio and i hope you guys have a one